and 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 without uh Skarsgård's character um you know sneaking her back through uh she would have been fucked you know in one way or another she would have been stranded um oh yeah for sure so yeah you're completely 100 percent right that he is an unsung hero that uh I feel like it, it feels more of a, a cameo, like, oh, oh that's, that's Bill Skarsgård. And yeah. It should have been, just like Sophia, not enough screen time, but uh, I'm still here for it. <laughs> yes, always. We do, uh, we get a, we get a, 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 you know, a brief cameo of uh, Till Schwager, who is, uh, of course, Hugo Stieglitz. Yes, I, when I remember seeing this, I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> He's in this. <laughs> I, love, I love that he's such a like a, again with like Bill Skarsgård. He's such like a, a minor minor character, but he's like the he's the fence basically. He's uh, he's the guy who sells things on the black market to people, um, uh, co- you know, working as a watchmaker yep. to uh, as a cover. And I love that he's just he looks so badass too. Like oh like like this guy will like mess you up. That the, the the way that they present him feels very like the the continental, you know. It's like that yes. kind of bringing you into oh yeah, this is still, um, you know, the, in that vibe. And and let's use this as a segue to what do you think about the the rumors and uh, of a of a crossover or the idea of a crossover i i remember as soon as this movie came out the the speculation and 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 people talking about it and even i i want to say even us you know we would casually talk about it as well or you know like just ideas of how cool that would be to see them do it um it would be cool to see them have that crossover the only thing is just the time but you know the timelines would have to work out right and i think they they restricted themselves i mean if you strictly wanted to have lorraine and uh john wick together i think that would um uh that would kind of be impossible unless we're working with a a very much older lorraine um but maybe her predecessor or something like that would be would be cool uh, what and, yeah. what uh what about what about like a some kind of prequel like the way that they did they're doing Furiosa right now? Yeah, I mean that'd be cool too. I I enjoy this. I enjoy seeing that. That'd be awesome. Because technically, right, Keanu is in his like late fifties now, and I think Charlize is maybe either late 40s or early 50s now right Um, so 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 the age difference isn't very big there so they could go back and do with you know it it, it, you know probably it wouldn't be keanu and charlise but they could do something with their younger counterparts you know kind of like wick starting out yeah exactly that would be cool i would uh i would pay to see that i think that that's something that could work out. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, that could even possibly work for um, Atomic Blonde too. If we got a John, you know, a John Wick in the early nineties. Yeah. Um, you know, Wick starting out kind oh, of. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> running, crossing paths with her. Um, I don't know. That'd be cool, man. Just to see that happen. Even just to have a camp, you know, someone, you know having him cameo in it you know that character cameo in it as maybe a, oh hey i'm john wick sorry i didn't mean to run into you blah blah, blah. we're both going after the same person or whatever that you would, know what i mean yeah that, that, would, that would be funny oh, that'd be cool I, I would i would i would definitely pay to see that hopefully we're putting out those vibes and then you know in a couple days we're gonna get we're gonna start seeing like some articles come out and it's like <laughs> hey that would it wouldn't be crazy for that to happen because, as we said before, that's kind of something that uh, we're pretty good at. Yeah, it's a you know, and the, and it, and it continues not even just with 
it's not one or two you know scenarios it's so many like countless things yeah. have happened now <laughs> and continue to happen um, kind of like, are we being we're being bugged you know maybe our fbi agents are working overtime yeah we'll get into uh swan facts real quick if you're ready bud yeah i'm done okay first up james mcavoy uh his character aka percival wears a cast in the film right and i guess this is because um he actually broke his arm while shooting split oh wow and okay that, so it's yeah a real cast. <laughs> yeah it's a real cool it's, it's a real cast which uh i want to know i can't remember did we do a split on this on the show did we, i uh, i don't think split? So. no we did unbreakable that's right yeah we did unbreakable but not not split we might have wrecked split maybe yeah um okay anyway moving on it, it was uh mcavoy's idea to make his character a full-on bad guy because in the script um they actually just used him as somewhat of a red herring so somebody who you were you were expecting to be the bad guy but it was almost too obvious um mm -hmm. so i guess he he went to david and was like hey you should actually make me be like the big bad where it's like almost so in your face that you're like no like he's probably okay but then he really isn't <laughs> that was a good call yeah that worked out yeah i think it uh it definitely is 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 a great kind of um something that strays away from you know the source material that's pretty cool um the infamous one take in the stairwell scene uh has several hidden cuts as i think you said uh kind of glossed over in the beginning of the show where um, yeah they do kind of whip these like whip pans and stuff where they're they're hidden cuts and and of course like when you watch the scene as as uh as crisp and 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 you know fluid as it feels like there's no way like how is charlie's gonna have that kind of damage on her face like where would you, <laughs> you know right by the end of it it's like i was thinking to myself like how did they get her to look that swollen without any cuts whatsoever it's fucking insane um but yeah it doesn't doesn't take away anything from 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 the execution of that if anything it's just more admirable you know because you can't tell whatsoever yeah charlise actually had eight different trainers uh, to get her ready for this intense choreography. Um, and she also... You're going to get a kick out of this if you don't already know it, man. Uh, she also sparred with Keanu regularly as he was prepping for John Wick Chapter 2 at the same no time. No way. <laughs> that is badass. Oh, my God. It, see, like, you have to do... They ha there has to be a crossover. Like... It, I mean, come on. That's perfect. The Continental Multiverse of Mad. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Just bring it on. Please. <laughs> um, Alright, and my final one. The, the production offered uh, David Bowie a role, but he ultimately declined shortly before his death. Oh. Which is a, a bummer. It's like, you know, it's it's pretty likely that he probably said no because he was in bad health. Yeah. Uh, um, which is a shame. You know, the movie opens, almost opens with, uh, you know, one of his songs. And it's, uh, yeah. it would have been rad to, uh, to get a little cameo from him. And it would have been a great farewell. But, you know, you can't have everything, I suppose. Yeah, true. That would have been cool. It would have. Um, and, and that's uh, wraps up Swan Facts for this week, man. Nice, nice. Those are those are sweet, man. Thank you. You know, I had to. Uh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta make them showy for something like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Yes, very much so. This month, uh, we're ending June with uh, basically a retrospective of uh, the of Blade Runner. Oh, nice. Okay, sweet. So, pretty exciting stuff. I know that's like one of Chris's favorite movies ever. Um, so to be very interesting to finally talk about it. I haven't really talked about the original very much. I'm a huge, huge fan of 2049. Um, yes. But it is, it's going to be amazing to uh, to kind of, you know, sit down with somebody who is definitely a, li- a little bit older than us and just kind of pick their brain about why, the, you know, he loves um, Blade Runner as much as he does, you know? For sure, yeah. So next week... The original Blade Runner, uh, a retrospective coming. Pretty which cut is going to be? Which which of the ten cuts? Oh God, <laughs> the good one, hopefully. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not oh, the man. not the narration one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's a great joke, man. <laughs> yeah, that movie has so many. And it, it's really like it's a it's it's. It's so true, but it's so funny. It's a joke as well, but it's yeah. it's crazy. The Millennium Cut. No, <laughs> it's like what kind of what kind am I supposed to watch? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very confusing stuff. Ah oh. oh, man, yeah, but definitely that's gonna be a good one. Oh man, Blade Runner. I haven't watched that in a while. Um, happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there who are listening. Uh, if you're not a father, go tell your dad. Or your father figure that you have in your life. Thank you for being a part of your life. Um, or yeah, for man. the for the for the males out there who have pets, you are a dad. Yes, yes, very much so. So celebrate accordingly. <laughs> yes. Um. Yeah, man. Thank you again for for um, you know, being flexible with your schedule so we could knock this out. Uh, I feel like this is another another great follow-up to you know a solid last week's episode um so thank you for for you know always coming on having a lot of fun being ready to talk about you know whatever the movie focus is and it's always a, a pleasure having you on of course man love doing this like uh we've been I and mean, we've been doing this for years now so it's uh and it's still fun so can't yeah. ask for much more. Yeah, yeah, it's fun because we're nerds. That's why. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. Some people just don't get it. Yeah, but it's all right. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a Joker moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh man, that's something we missed in our news. I guess we'll have to wait till. <laughs> oh yes, I did have that in my news. Damn. All right. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, we'll go over it. We'll go over it next week. I'll, yeah. I'll save it just to remember. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Uh, with that, I'll leave you uh, with one final question. All right. Where can our lovely listeners find us, man? Oh man, if you're uh, if you're just stumbling upon this podcast, we are Drop the Mic. We are a uh, San Diego based podcast, so uh, support us there. Um, go on uh, whatever you're listening to. We are we are pretty much played on every single platform that does play podcasts, whether it's iHeartRadio. Uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, um, Stitcher, Spotify, um, anything, YouTube, um, go on there, give us a, uh, whatever it is, five stars, thumbs up, a positive review if you do have the time. It only takes a second to say something. Um, hopefully it's positive. Um, and then also uh, follow us on Instagram. We uh, we have an Instagram. We are at drop the mic underscore podcast. And then also follow us on our brand new Twitter that we've, uh, we've just We've just opened up uh, about a month ago. Um, that is uh, Drop the Mic Pod, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. Follow us on there. Um, we, me and Wesley are both attached to the Instagram. So if you want to comment on some posts that we, we post regularly, weekly on there, um, usually, uh, sometimes it's the weekly Rex. The majority of the time, it's the weekly focus, just so our, our listeners know what we're going to be. Uh, speaking on comment on that tell us if you've seen the movie that we're talking about this week if you liked it if you loved it if you um, what you'd loved or hated about it 
um, whatever, regardless of whatever the case may be.